The driver of an RV cited for driving under the North Street Bridge in Northampton and then getting stuck this afternoon. And this is just the latest crash involving low bridges in the city. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio with more. Glenn. Yeah, Chris, Mary, some of the folks I spoke with today say they've seen hundreds of wrecks just like this one under both the Main Street Bridge and the North Street Bridges, which begs the question, what can drivers do to avoid these accidents? I spoke with two tow truck drivers today who say ending these traffic mishaps is easier than you think. Take a look at this photo. It's the most recent victim of someone cutting it a little too close under a low bridge. This happening Wednesday afternoon, a 14 foot RV trying to get through the 11 foot North Street Railroad Bridge. Some that I spoke with today say this issue is extremely common amongst tractor trailers and RVs, despite signs warning a low bridge is ahead. We've dealt with quite a few out of Northampton since I was a little kid. My first one was probably around 10 years old. Most of them are going to the Coca-Cola plant in Northampton. They just go the wrong way. Uh, we've probably done over the years hundreds of them. Western Mass News has found crashing into the bridge ceiling can land you a ticket for failure to obey road signs, up to a $500 fine. But it's the price that you pay on the vehicle that really hurts motorists in their wallets. That was a total. That, that took the total roof skin right off it. Uh, so that, that, that is a, a total, total loss. So what should drivers do when approaching these bridges? We're told the tools might be right at your fingertips. A lot of the GPS is warning you now of low underpass. So they should be putting them in their truck. You can put your heights right in your GPSs these days and your lengths. And everything you need is right in your GPS these days. And the tow drivers also told me that one of the most obvious things to look for are those big yellow signs. They will tell you just how tall those bridges are. And the U.S. Department of Transportation also recommends you have at least 14 feet of clearance before going under bridges. In the studio, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.